just the patsies burn. Or some kind of suicide squad. <laughs> he said it. He said he said the title. <laughs> Hello everybody. This is you know Burn and Rye with the Bodacious Rant. And uh, it's been a it's been a great weekend so far. Mainly just because James Gunn, the Suicide Squad, finally dropped. I've been waiting for this since, you know, DC fandom last year, yeah. last August is when they first started talking about it. We got to see the cast of what you know, what infamous hero or not heroes, infamous characters villains. make up the Suicide Squad. Yes, they are super villains. <laughs> and the words of Samwise Gamgee just he's a villain. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Um, so basically, this movie is available, you know, not only on HBO Max, but if you have a subscription, so it's completely free. Mm-hmm. You can watch as many times as you want, and it was released in theaters, which Burn and I had the pleasure of seeing in IMAX. Oh yeah. And needless to say, I think I can speak for both of us this time, Burn, when this movie was worth it. Every minute Absolutely. of my attention span, every dollar I spend, it was completely <laughs> worth it. And that's one of the few movies I can say this year that I was like, yeah, I don't regret going to the theaters or I'm so glad I did this. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Out of like the movies we've seen so far, I think this one out of all of them makes the best case as one to be watched in theaters. If you're comfortable, of course, and you know, if you can safely. Yeah. No, of course, just because with Delta, you know, really ruining it for everyone in uh, all over the US. I know theaters are a little sticky here and there. Um, but uh, like I said, this was this was a movie I'm I'm actually kind of glad I risked, you know, going to see it mm-hmm. just because I really liked it. Yeah, I've been watching it all weekend, you know, ever yeah. since we saw it Friday <laughs> night. It's been on repeat with HBO Max. My fi- family finally got to see it. And um, the usual reaction of what everybody's saying online, it was hilarious, very well done, and just gross. <laughs> oh, man. But so, like, so basically the general synopsis of this movie is that Amanda Waller, who's played by, um, is it Viola? Viola? Yeah, Viola, Viola Davis. Davis. Viola Davis. Uh, Viola Davis is back as Amanda Waller, uh, requiring the needs of two new, uh, of a, basically a new suicide squad in Corto Maltese which is a very po- very you know big location in all of DC especially if you've like seen you know the Justice League shows uh Batman stuff like that mm-hmm. and the Dark Knight Returns and, comic and, stuff. and the Dark Knight Returns yeah exactly so actually it was also mentioned in the Tim Burton movies too which was very interesting oh, so I wow. thought that was pretty I have to check that out so again I thought, <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool but and there's a mysterious thing called Project Starfish happening on Mort- Corto Maltese that the Suicide Squad needs to go destroy. So that's basically the whole premise of it. Uh, this is the non-spoiler review, so we're not going to give away much more than that. But, you know, to be honest, since I don't have a lot of cons, we'll s- I-, I really don't have anything. We'll save that till the very end. So let's start with our okay. our positives. What do you say, Burn? Yeah, yeah, that's not, that does sound good. I definitely have way more positives and I- next to none, ne- no negatives. <laughs> But um, yeah, so Burn, why don't you lead us off? What was one of the one of your favorite aspects or scenes or characters in in this movie without spoiling? It? I mean, I guess the I mean what I'll say right off the top is um, this movie I think absolutely absolutely succeeds in um, delivering on the promise of a movie called The Suicide Squad. Yeah, <laughs> it's I mean yeah, we we've seen the you know the the first one that came back in uh, back in like 2016 and that one didn't really seem like it. It delivered on that aspect, but uh, this one, right out the gate, it really does. Like it, it does a good job of setting the tone for the movie. Um, I think the opening of this movie is probably one of the best openings uh, to any uh, comic book movies I've seen personally. And, and you know, this is my opinion. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, James Gunn really really flexed all his creative muscles here, and and you know, going into the movie, I mean, hearing interviews and hearing what he said in, in the DC fandom last year is that. You know, he said that this was probably the most fun he's had ever making a movie, and it just it just absolutely shows on screen. It, this movie was a ton of fun, fun from uh, from start to finish, and you really do get to see all the the James Gunnisms on full display. Yeah, I mean, give James Gunn a big budget, he's delivered us you know some of the best movies in the MCU, Guardians mm-hmm. and Guardians Two. Now he's in Guardian, making Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. And now this is his first, you know, DC movie. Hopefully not his last, just because yeah. it was so great. And kind of going on the Suicide Squad aspect, this movie balanced another great, you know, graphic novel film. I'm k- keeping graphic novel because it's not a superhero film, so mm-hmm. or okay. super like I'll just say a supervillain movie. But basically, 
it balances humor and, and the heavy stuff so well that you're laughing one minute, you could get a little touchy-feely the next. And it's, it's very hard, I feel like, for a lot of directors in almost any genre to nail that down. Mm -hmm. Most specifically, I guess, in like sci-fi, action, adventure, and even like movies like this where they either use humor to undercut a lot of the serious moments or it's just too much of a drag and then the jokes don't hit. But this one, I think, was one of the better balances of both. Uh, very much like um, either like Deadpool and then just, you know, the, uh, like the Russo's movies like uh, Avengers Endgame and Infinity War. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, so, and I think also, you know, one of the, the biggest strengths of this movie, if not the biggest strength besides uh, James Gunn, is, is the cast, man. The, the, the mm -hmm. cast is absolutely A1. I mean, Viola Davis is Amanda Waller, you know, yeah. and Margot Robbie is Harley Quinn, and, you know, all these new characters really cement themselves and endear themselves to you right from the beginning, and by the end of the movie, I'm like, I like all these characters, this is ridiculous, I, I, I never thought in any, any point in my life would I ever be like, I like Polka Dot Man. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I remember last year, as, as much as I was looking forward to this, I was very skeptical because he's talked about the most random villains in all oh, of DC super deep canon. Cut. You know, Polka Dot Man, Rat Catcher, Weasel, Javelin, Blackguard. Just so many here villains I've never even heard of mm -hmm. before. So I was like, oh, this is definitely a gamble. Yeah. Or if you like, had heard work. of them, they were always like the butt of the jokes in comics. Yeah, so... But James Gunn brilliantly brilliantly just brings them all together they look great on screen the cast you know for whatever part they have whether it be Idris Elba's Bloodsport or um, Flula Borg as a uh, Javelin uh -huh. it, just, it <laughs> works so well everyone does such a good job and especially you know just the the main crew that we kind of see in like the trailers like Bloodsport, Ratcatcher 2, Polka Dot Man and John Cena as Peacemaker and surprise Sylvester Stallone as King Shark yeah um is just I, I couldn't get enough of the cast and like and I do agree with you. This is the first one of the few movies that I loved everyone on the team equally. There mm -hmm. wasn't one or more I I could care for less. So yeah, like if you uh, had asked me who my favorite was, I couldn't give you like a definitive answer just because I liked them all so much. And I think I'll say uh, for me at least that this is my favorite that uh, John Cena has ever been in like any of the oh, movies yeah. that he's been in, especially coming off of his, like, again, not his fault, but like the really bad performance in F9 earlier this year where they, their only direction to him was just be angry, just have this face the whole time. Just be the opposite of Vin Diesel, basically. <laughs> just yeah. like similar, but different. Like, yeah, so, and this is, this is again, like one of his best action movies, serious mm -hmm. roles, and hilarious. He is hilarious nonstop throughout this movie. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm glad that he was a great addition to this. Um, and I think the only other thing I kind of want to bring up without going into, you know, spoilery stuff is just the makeup and effects in this movie because it was oh, all yeah. shot on location. Mm -hmm. And and I was just reading an Instagram post where they were saying, like, to for days it would be super hot, days it would be super cold, but with a lot of, you know, with a little bit of work and color changing and editing, they got to make it look how they wanted to. Mm -hmm. And I could never tell watching the movie that... It was different, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, dude. I think this is easily one of the best-looking comic book movies just because for, for those reasons, uh, you know, all the all the makeup, all the costuming were great. Um, Bloodsport has probably one of the best comic book movie suits I've ever seen. <laughs> but, um, yeah. But it, it really just goes to show, like, how much... Um, how much were, like, where you're shooting on behind like a, a green screen house so that's sort of like you know it's like fake but we you know when the movie is shot on location or a stage is built around you know in, mm -hmm. in this set um it really goes a long way because like you said there was no point in this movie where i was like this seems like overly fake or this just looks out of place like everything just looks so good and that again mm -hmm. that's a huge credit to all those you know technical departments yeah but like I said, that's all I want to get positive into this. Um, Burn, is there anything else you want to shout out before we finish up? Uh, just the music. <laughs> the music in the movie, both... Uh, the music, yes. Both the, the score uh, was so good the, the, for this. Yeah, the original <laughs> score, you know, uh, and also the, the James Gunn needle drops. He always delivers on, uh, you know, letting in a mu you know, music that we've heard on the radio integrate so well into the movies, which the, the same can be said for a lot of movies. So I think, you know, I think it's for me, it's like him, Tarantino, and Edgar Wright are the ones that they really integrate music so well into their movies, and it plays into the scene, like, so 
like seamlessly where you it's not distracting whatsoever and that's been a, been a big of issue for me at, at least as of late so to have something like this it's like oh cool awesome we do know if someone can do it right <laughs> yeah and before you before we end our non-spoiler reviews uh cons to be honest there's not much but full warning for those of you um who do want to see this movie this is definitely a very violent very gory mm-hmm. and quite and i guess vulgar and well there wasn't that many there wasn't that bad of cursing in this movie like out of the ordinary in my opinion mm-hmm. there's a lot of it but nothing like oh my god this is so like horrible like as some reviewers and um critics are calling it so this is definitely like i said if you you want a good action movie you want a lot of laughs and you want to see some new you know cast members like daniela Mel- um malachio i can't say her name daniela malachio Melchior, yes, from uh, Portugal, or um, oh my God, who's the guy who played Pol- Polka Dot Man? He's not necessarily new. Oh, uh, but I, is, uh, David Desmaltier. Yeah, like if you want to just see some new, you know, up and coming actors who are really gonna, after this movie, set a footprint in Hollywood. This is the movie for you. I highly encourage you to go see it, whether it be in theater, comfortably at home. This movie has to be seen. Yeah. And I, I and I'm gonna end it with you know five out of five rantings. I have no real complaints with this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I second that. Uh, where it's it's a movie that you know it, it should be seen regardless. Uh, you know whether it be in the movie theater if you're really comfortable, or you know on HBO Max at home. Uh, uh, like it's so great that you do have that option. Um, one of the things I will say is it is kind of unfortunate that this movie is uh, releasing at a time like this because I really felt like it could have uh, done done super well you know on on any other year so that is kind of a bit of a bummer but at least we've got to see it so i think that's you know that's just great on on its own so uh yeah i mean i mean uh the negatives uh like you said i think it just comes down to a matter of taste you know if you're going into a james gunn movie you kind of know like whether his humor works for you or not for me i'll say you know his mu his like his humor hits uh like nine times out of ten and i think that a lot a lot of this humor in this movie worked for me but i can see <laughs> it not working for some people especially with how uh, mean-spirited it can get at times but what you know the the cast and uh and crew you know they 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 really bring it all together and again these guys are super villains so just remember that going in yeah, the Suicide Squad's not a team of heroes. I don't know why it's Hollywood, especially in twenty sixteen, they try to paint that as like, oh, these are, you know, they're they're like the Guardians of the Galaxy. It's like there is a very big difference between the Guardians and and the Suicide Squad. So mm-hmm. keep that in mind. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah. Oh shoot. It's five out of five for me. <laughs> You're so excited. I get so excited. Yeah. Just like, I just want to like be like, five. That's a five. Yeah. No, definitely five <laughs> out of five for me. One of my favorite movies of the year so far, easily. Absolutely, but keep an eye out for our spoiler review where we'll dive down into more of our favorite stuff and you know key scenes I think really work for mm-hmm. this movie. Uh, but until then, let us know if you've seen it or not, if you loved it, hated it, or were you grossed out by it? I don't know, but yeah. let us know in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe. And Burn, I will. Uh, I'll see you on the flip side, my brother. I'll see you on the next mission. Hopefully, we survive. Hopefully, we will. I mean, <laughs> we're fine now, so you know, can't promise anything for the next time. I'll see you later, dude. All right, man. Adios.